Hi Aries, getting ready to do your reading. Hope you guys are doing fantastic this week. All right, let's see what's going on for you, Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I just got Jack or Jack in the box. I think it was just the name Jack, a J name, but I added the box. Some of you may be doing a food run or you're eating it or something. That's, that's funny. Oh, love spell. You've been bewitched by someone else or someone else is in the middle. Move on, moving on. careful that you're not involved in a third party okay be careful that you're not like in love with someone who's in love with somebody else that's the first thing I'm getting okay so if, if you are like because it's a waste of time is what I'm getting they're saying move on someone else is unavailable or someone is unavailable it's a waste of time it's over so if you are like totally enamored with somebody and you think they are like wonderful and you, you're in love with them but yet there is a third person they're saying clearly move on that's going to be a waste of your time. You're feeling out in the cold. Page of coin, eight of swords, three of cups. And I feel like there's a better choice in front of you. It may be an earth sign. And maybe you don't find the person. Maybe it's just not your, I don't know, style or something. But you're not moving ahead with something. There's a third party. Look, at there is a, it's in the hidden position. And you are got the overall energy of the five of coins. So Aries, if you are involved with someone or you like someone, you just like them but they are dating with someone else, move on. Because even your outcome, it's totally matching the cards from the spirit. Move on. Six of cups, 10 of cups. This person could be married and have kids with somebody. If that is your situation, do not wait around, okay? It's clear message that this is not your person. There's your emperor energy. Yeah. Yeah, it's like every card in the boat, in the, in the deck move on fast or slow tower it get over it it's not right for you it's not the right person okay clear message from spirit there however may be somebody else coming in for you with some sort of commitment this person will be single and available okay four of wands seven of coins six of coins three of wands and the two of wands four of cups I keep getting any breadcrumbed. I keep getting this like you um, are hoping for something from this person and you never get it. They're always lying or they're never telling the truth. You're finally seeing things. You're listening to your intuition. Now the king of coin though. So I'm getting two people here. Now they both may be earth signs. So don't get them confused because I'm definitely getting, if you're dealing with a person who's already married and possibly even kids, they are not worth your time. They're not going to give you the commitment you want. I'm getting there's another person who is coming in or around you who could be um, an earth sign but who has would be a better match has feelings for you Taurus Virgo Capricorn that wants to offer love so I would definitely manifest three of coins working together in a relationship see that you definitely to me have two people here all right <clears throat> what do you need to know about this new person Page of Cups, they're offering love to you, the world, and Ace of Wands. There's actually a lot of more passion there than you realize. This person may be, like, I guess, like, some of you think this person's boring, stodgy, something like that. They could be, you know, like, have a boring career, or you just feel like this person's not exciting. But you may be pleasantly surprised to find out you guys have a lot more in common, and they're a really good partner. You may be the one that has to bring out the spark or the fun. I've noticed that over the years in personal readings. If the person is, you know, you think is going to be like boring, well, then you need to step up and ask them, you know, like make plans. You need to be the one to make plans. You need to be the one to um, come up with new ideas and be the spark, be the, the, you know, the leader. It doesn't always have to be the other person. And for an Aries, I think you guys as an emperor energy could do that very easily. I think you could be pleasantly surprised by this person and how much fun the two of you could have. And I get they are, they are also very, um, they could have a lot of money. I get they could be like finance accounting something to do with money or numbers or data analyst or something like that something that you might think well wow, that's like the most boring thing you could ever do but yet they're good at it they make a lot of money they're very smart um, they're very they make good decisions too is what i'm getting but i'm getting like you guys would have like <clears throat> excuse me like this person needs someone like you they need someone who's fun and i do see traveling i do see like a cruise i see you guys like relaxing in the sun i see things like that going on later on if you would just like, give this person a chance let go of the person who's not going to give you anything, okay? 
there's a reason you're chasing someone who's not giving you anything you're but i don't know it's probably a childhood life lesson or something but you're being left out in the cold go for the one who has feelings for you has commitment for you likes you because it shows me right here you guys could be in a committed relationship and get along really well three of coins and the hair font this person's in love with you and again the ace of coin like total total commitment here this person i actually get they kind of wear their heart on their sleeve sometimes you can actually get them to open up with the knight of coins because they are i mean you you're the emperor so this is probably you sitting here and maybe they're younger than you maybe they don't have as much prestige or something as you maybe they get they may be a little intimidated by you but they don't let it hold them back is what i'm getting they could be a very strong personality as well but i am just definitely getting like you can be like not a bad way but kind of like the ringleader like you could be the one that makes the plans and you're the one with like the fire under you and you can like you know let's do this this week or this something different next week and you could like kind of like call the shots like not in a bad way but like you need to make the plans because this person's not good at making plans there's some signs that just aren't they aren't that you know they kind of hold back and they don't really know how to plan things and you would be that person okay you guys get it i don't want to beat a dead horse i'm sorry okay what would this person say to you what would this earth sign say to you I think the new person's an earth sign doesn't have to be. They miss hearing your voice. This person may also have a cat. Some of you don't like cats. Or you have, you're just like, you think people with cats, I don't know, maybe have an allergy or something as well. I don't know. I feel like you have a, a, I definitely get like you have a viewpoint of this person, like they're just not fun or exciting and they're not your type, but you, are, you I feel like you may be sadly mistaken. There's more than meets the eye. I can't stop thinking about you. I want to tell you how I feel and I don't want to let you go. See this new person, and I'm going to call them a new person, even though I think you know who they are. They would do anything for you. I feel like they would bend over backwards for you. Like they may have a lot of money and not have anything to spend it on, but you come in and then they want to spend it on a vacation for the two of you or, you know, something like that. I just kind of get, you need to blow up the past situation areas, get over it, get past it because it's going to lead you to nothing. You're going to be left out in the cold when you have this perfect opportunity here to date someone new and maybe even be in a committed relationship. Holy crap, I just dropped the whole deck, okay? I just dropped all of it. So some of you may be heartbroken because the person doesn't wanna to talk to you, the person you like, that the other person has a lot of other options. This is the first one who again could be married with kids or just they're not giving you any commitment or anything like that. But it is what it is, unfortunately, not today. This feels like, because this is what I saw fall out together, kind of keys on a ring not today they don't want to talk to you this is bringing up a past emotion probably from like early childhood or something like that and you're reliving those feelings so you got to learn the lesson the hurt and move on from it because it is a lesson it, you're not meant to be like five of coins out in the cold let's go on with a new person oops love popped out oh my god these cards just want to fly everywhere which i like but i don't like that like all of them are coming out at once chaser don't you don't need to chase love let love come to you see the first person you're chasing them the, the second person uh, will come towards you love yeah so you could be engaged with the second person the earth sign person they may be a twin flame or a partner a soulmate connection they watch you they keep tabs on you a lot and there's a lot of passion there like this person's really fired up about you like they're turned on by you like the first person can't give you the time of day this one right here like they would i think spend their whole you know day around you they were like plan their whole day around you aries and you know give you a lot give you more than you're expecting is what i'm getting getting more than you're used to maybe you don't think you deserve that see that's what i'm getting this other person's kind of under your love spell there's an earth sign who is like stuck on you Cars says you've been bewitched. I don't think you see things clearly right now. I think you are going through a transitional phase of who you're dating or who you like. What's going for Aries? Someone's dreaming of you. Pay attention to your dreams too when that comes up. Daydreams, dreams in general. There's a magnetic attraction here. And one more please for Aries. Divine intervention. I think this person's... Something's going to happen to the past situation so that you move away from it. That's why the tower was there. But... And healing. Needing to heal holding back out of fear i think some of you are holding back but someone's going to be reaching out it almost feels like the person the new person has to do something big to get your attention but they will 
That's the divine intervention. So I'm going to leave it there, you guys. Have a great week, and I'll talk to you soon.